Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So now I am continuing the problems on measures of central tendency. Last video I have completed four problems on calculating the arithmetic mean. Now from fifth problem onwards we have problems on median. So in this video I am going to explain you about how to calculate the median and quartiles. But before that I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So always keep ready the problem and then only you watch the video you can be able to understand properly. So take a screenshot of the solutions of these few problems then I will explain each and every point. Come on, see the fourth, uh, fifth problem. Up to four problems we have completed. Fifth, see the fifth one. Calculate the median, lower quartile and upper quartile for the following data. So simply values are given 61, 62, 63, 61, 63, 64 like that. Totally how many values are given? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Totally 14 values, individual values are given. So this series is called individual observations. It is not a group. There is no frequency at all. Simply individual values are given. So we are required to calculate the median quartiles, right? So calculating the median lower quartile Q1 and upper quartile Q3. That's what we are doing. For calculating median and quartiles, first we arrange the data in ascending order. Ascending order means increasing order from the lowest value to the highest value without arranging this data you should never calculate the median and quartiles first step is that only in the problem all the values are mixed up so you have to arrange it so how to arrange the lowest value if you see carefully the lowest value is 60 lowest value is 60 so 60 is occurring only once so 60 next higher than 60 is 61 but 61 is occurring two times. So I have taken two times 61. Next comes 62. 62 is occurring only one time. Only one time. Then 63. 63 if you see it is occurring three times. So 63 three times. Then if you see 64. 64 is occurring four times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 64. 65 is occurring one, uh, two times. So 65 is occurring two times. And last one 66 is occurring only one time. So I have arranged smallest value is 60 and the highest value is 66. I have arranged in ascending order. Now median size. Median is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2. These formulas you have to remember. n. n means how many numbers are there. The total numbers are 14. 14 numbers are there. So 14 plus 1 divided by 2. 15 by 2 is 7.5th item. 7.5 is not median. 7.5th item is median, right? That means between 7 and 8. 7.5 means more than 7th item but less than 8th item. So median is equal to 7th item plus 0.5. Here you have written 0.5. So plus 0.5 into after 7th, what is the next item? 8th. So 8th minus 7th item. So what is the 7th item here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seventh item is 63. And 0.5 into 8th item. 8th item is 64. 8th item is 64. And 7th item is 63. So 64 minus 63 is 1. 1 into 0.5 is 0.5. 1 into 0.5 is 0.5. So 63.5. 63.5, not 0. 0.5. 63.5 63.5 is the uh, median value 63.5 median value now lower quartile Q1 the lower quartile same formula is there denominator will be taken 4 for median we have taken denominator 2 for quartile we will take denominator 4 so n plus 1 by 4 14 plus 1 divided by 4 15 divided by 4 
3.75 item 3.75 item right that is nothing but third item 3 means third item plus 0.75 into after third the next item is fourth the so fourth minus third the so third item if you see the third item here 1 2 3 third item is 61 so take 61 plus 0.75 into fourth item is 62 fourth item is 62 so 62 minus 61 is 1 1 into 0 0.75 0 0.75 so 61 plus 0 0.75 61.75 so ultimately lower quartile Q1 is 61.75 we have calculated the median we have calculated the Q1 now Q3 upper quartile the formula is same we multiply with 3 fourth so 3 into n plus 1 by 4 here we have taken only n plus 1 by 4 here we multiply by 3 so 3 into n plus 1 14 plus 1 3 into 15 by 4 that comes to 11.25 item that means 11th item plus 0.25 into 12th minus 11th so 11th item is 64 if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11th item is 64 and 12th item is 65 so 11th item is 64 plus 0.25 because here 0.25 is there so 65 minus 64 is 1 1 into 0 0.25 0 0.25 64.25 is the upper quartile that is q3 that's all this is the sixth uh, fifth problem now problem number six calculate from the following data find the value of median income 200 250 130 270 300 230 and number of persons whenever number of persons are given it is frequency it's a discrete series because frequency is given and x values are given x values are the incomes but i told you in the previous problem whenever we calculate median or quartiles first we must arrange the data in ascending order here it is not in ascending order incomes are given first 200 then 250 then 130 all the values are mixed up so we make it in ascending order then only we calculate median what is the lowest income 130 after 130 200 after 200 230 after 230 250 after 250 270 after 270 300 now we have arranged so here income 130 200 230 250 270 300 now you can see all are increasing ascending order now corresponding frequency number of persons for 130 the number of persons are 26 for 200 the number of persons are 34 230 number of persons are 40 so respective number of persons we have taken now we have to find out cf cumulative frequency for cumulative frequency first frequency will be taken same 26 now we have to add up 26 plus 34 26 plus 34 you get 60 so 60 plus 40, you will get 100. 100 plus 36, you will get 136. 136 plus 30, you will get 166. 166 plus 16, you will get 182. That's all. Now confirm it. The total of the persons N is 182. And the last CF should also be 182. That's it. Now we have to apply the formula. Median is equal to size of N plus 1 by 2 n is how much 182 182 plus 1 by 2 91.5 now locate 91.5 or next higher in cf column cf column means cumulative frequency column and uh, the corresponding value of x is the median so exactly 91.5 or next higher to 91.5 so you can locate here so what is the next higher to 91.5 the next higher to 91.5 is 100. 100 is the immediately higher than 91.5. The corresponding value, to the corresponding value of x is the median. This is the median. The median is equal to 230. This is the procedure of calculating median for discrete series. This is individual series. And this is discrete series. We don't have frequency. That's why no CF. Here we have frequency, we have to calculate the CF, cumulative frequency, that's it. Sixth completed. 
Now, seventh problem you see. Calculate the median lower and upper quartile from the following data. Size are given 10, 20, 30, frequencies are given. Exactly similar to the previous problem. Discrete series because x values are given, frequencies are given. You have to calculate the median, lower quartile, upper quartile. See. Calculation of median, lower quartile, and upper quartile. Sizes are given in the problem and frequencies are given. Now, first frequency and CF same 7 7 7 plus 12 19 19 plus 17 36 36 plus 29 65 like this you calculate CF take the total of the frequency 140 and last CF should also be 140 that means your calculations are correct now after calculating CF median median is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2 how much is n 140 so 140 plus 1 divided by 2 it comes to 70.5 Locate 70.5 or next higher in CF column. Corresponding value will be the median. So locate now 70.5 or next higher. It comes to 96. 65 is lower. We want 70.5 or next higher. So it comes to 96. So corresponding value of x against this 96. What is the value of x here? 50. The so median is equal to 50. That's it. Now lower quartile. Lower quartile Q1. So Q1 is equal to size of n plus 1 by 4. Here it is 2. Here it is 4. So 140, 140 plus 1 divided by 4. It comes to 35.25. Locate 35.25 or next higher in CF column. Corresponding value of X is the Q1. So 31. What is that? 35.25. So here you see 35.25 or next higher, it comes to 36, 36, so corresponding value, against this 36, what is the corresponding value here, 30, so Q1 is equal to 30, now the upper quartile, Q3, the uh, Q3 is equal to size of 3 into n plus 1 by 4, 3 into 140 plus 1 divided by 4. 3 into 141 by 4. 105.75. Now locate 105.75 or next higher in CF column. Corresponding value is Q3. 105.75 or next higher. If you see here it is 117. 117 is the next higher. So corresponding value of 117. This is the Q3. 60. That's it. So, seven problems completed. Now, see the eighth problem. Compute the median from the following data. Mid values are given, frequencies are given. See here, mid values, whenever it is given, it means it's a continuous series. Middle value is given. So, we have to convert the middle value into class interval and then calculate the median. That is the new, po new point here. So calculation of media, uh, mid, median, mid values M are given in the problem 115, 125, 135, 145 line. The mid values are given. Now we have to convert that mid value into class interval. This is the new point, first time you are watching, first time you are listening here. So with full concentration you try to understand this. How to convert the mid value into class interval? Here I begin. The difference between two mid values is 10. If you see the difference, 115 to 125, 10 is the difference. 125 to 135, 10 is the difference. 135 to 145, 10 is the difference. So difference between two mid values, 10. Then half of 10, make half of 10, it is 5. Now what you have to do is, deduct 5 from mid value to get lower limit. Add 5 to upper value, uh, mid value, you will get the upper limit. What is the mid value here? 115. So deduct 5 from 115. Deduct 5 from 115. It will be 110. Add 5 to 115. You will get 120. Add 5 to 115. You will get 120. And every mid value may say 5 deduct karenge to lower limit. 5 add karenge to upper limit. So 125 minus 5, 120. 125 plus 5, 130. 135 minus 5, 130. 135 plus 5, 140. Like this, you have to convert it into class interval. Now we don't require mid values. We are concerned with the class interval. Frequencies are given in the problem. 
all the frequencies are given. So as usual, we calculate the cumulative frequency. 6, 6 plus 25, 31, 31 plus 48, 79, 79 plus 72, 151. Like that, you have calculated CF. The total of the frequency is 390 and the last CF is also 390. That means our calculations are correct. <coughs> now, medium class. First time we are doing the problem on continuous series. The median class is equal to size of n by 2. Remember, for individual series we have n plus 1 by 2. For discrete series we have n plus 1 by 2. But for continuous series take only n by 2. Don't take n plus 1 by 2. So n by 2, 390 by 2, 195. Locate 195 or next higher in CF column corresponding class is the median class. So 195 or next higher it is 267. 195 or next higher is 267. So corresponding class is 150 to 160. 150 to 160 is called the median class. So after calculating median class we apply the formula for median. The median formula is L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into I. This is the formula. Now what is L here? L stands for lower limit of median class. So here it is the median class. The lower limit of median class is 150. This is L. N by 2. N by 2 already you have calculated here. N by 2 is 195. Minus CF. CF means the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Before the median class. Cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Median class is 150 to 160. This is the median class. So before this, this one. So this is CF. 151 is the CF. Cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Right? And F means frequency of the median class. The median class is this one. The frequency is 116. So F is equal to 116. I is equal to width of the median class. Width of the median class. That means this is the median class. What is the width the difference? 160 minus 150. 10 is the difference. So I is equal to 10. Now simply 150 is the L. 195 minus 151 divided by 116 into 10. You will get 3.79. So 150 plus 3.79. 153.79. So median is equal to 150. 53.79 that's it so in this video I have explained you the median and the quartiles the median of individual series the median and quartile median of discrete series here median and quartiles of discrete series and here median of continuous series and also when mid values are given how to convert the mid value into class interval I have explained you. So totally 8 problems have completed on these measures of central tendency. Inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video but if you are satisfied give a like to the video, share my channel in your group, in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Subscribe my channel and give your comments. And I want to inform you that I have started a new channel by name Hans Accounting Institute. You go to the search of YouTube, type Hans Accounting Institute, you will find my second channel. And the second channel is for IGCSE students, those who are pursuing the courses of uh, Cambridge and Excel Pearson, they can watch this uh, second channel. And if you want to enhance the knowledge, you can watch that uh, videos also. Definitely you will gain a lot of knowledge from those videos. Inshallah, the next problem I'll continue in the next video.